we are going to be adding on to the DIY that we did last week. So if you have been watching my videos and you saw what we did last week, um, we took some glassware from the dollar store or repurposed glass that we had just from our kitchen. Things like juice jars or I used a pesto container for one of them and we dyed them to be colored so that they look like vintage glassware. So we're going to be adding on to that this week and we're going to be making pressed flower taper candlesticks. So if you are interested in doing the complete DIY, if you want to make the vintage glassware to go with the taper candlesticks, then I will link the video from last week up at the top of the screen here for you. Um, you can do it in either order, but they do go together if you want to make them candlestick holders. If you are interested in just doing the taper candle DIY, then go ahead and watch this video through and we'll go step by step on how to do that. This DIY is a nice easy one, it's super simple and it shouldn't take us very long at all. You only need a couple things for it as well, so it's very budget friendly. To do this DIY, you're going to need paper candlesticks. So I got these ones on Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. They're just some cream colored paper candlesticks. So we'll use these candlesticks and we are going to need as many candlesticks as you plan on making. Um, I have four for mine because I'm going to do some for the vintage glassware that I made last time and then some for some candlesticks that I have around the house. So I got four of the same color and you'll need however many you're going to use and then you will need some pressed flowers and a spare candle of the same color. If you're like me and you get a cream colored candle then you'll need a spare cream or white colored candle either a taper candle that you have that's extra or a tea light or really any kind of candle that you have as long as it is the same color. So we're going to use that as kind of our glue to put the pressed flowers onto the candlesticks. And if you're new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so that you can see more like this. I put new videos out every Sunday. So starting off here in our little station, I have our taper candlesticks. Um, I have four of them. That's how many that I will be working with today. You do however many you would like to do. And then I also have some pressed flowers. So normally in the past I've used flowers that I pressed myself, but for today's video I actually ordered some pressed flowers from Amazon. Um, because since we are going to be putting them onto the candlestick, I wanted them to be super, super flat and pressed. And the ones that I have that I press myself are flat, but they're not as paper flat as these ones are. So these will lay really well onto the candle. So if you want to use ones that you press yourself, you totally can. Just make sure that you let them get really flat and put something really heavy on them. Or there's also the microwave method where you put paper towels on both sides of the flower you want to press and then something heavy that's microwave safe on top. And then you microwave it on low in 30 second intervals until all the moisture has come out and that will get it really flat as well. So whichever one you want to do is totally fine. Um, either method will work, you just want it to be really flat so that it sticks well to the candlestick. So with my little kit, it also comes with some little tweezers. So I'm going to be using those today. I think it'll just make it easier for me to put the flower onto the candlestick. I have a taper candlestick that I'm going to be melting some wax in. And then a paintbrush. And I have one of the vessels that I'll be putting the taper candlestick into when it's all done and has the flowers on it. So I'm going to start by putting my candle that I'm going to be melting into the taper candlestick holder. Um, I'm using this one because one, it's pretty close to the color of the candlestick that I'm going to be putting my flowers on, which is this long one. This one's obviously a little bit more white in color, but I think it'll work out okay. Um, and two, because I actually broke this one. This was in one of my taper candlestick holders, um, and when I was putting it in, I pressed it a little bit too hard, and it cracked it 
all up the side here. So we're gonna use it for its wax because decoratively, it's not as useful anymore. I'm gonna put my broken candlestick into here and this is the one that I'm gonna be lighting and melting to be able to paint on my flowers onto my candlestick. And then for our pressed flowers, the kit that I got on Amazon comes with four different pressed flower um, color themes and options. There's a lot of different flowers within it, but it has, I think it said a hundred flowers that it comes with. So it's a pretty good deal. And I think it was about 11 or $12 for all of it. Um, I'll link it for you guys so that you can check it out if you want to, but this was one of the better deals that I saw on there. Typically I use my own pressed flowers, but like I was saying, these are just much flatter. As you can see, there's some cardboard base in here, and I mean, they're literally paper thin. So they're gonna be perfect for putting onto our candlesticks. So the options that it comes with is this white set, a pink set, a green set, and then this one's kind of like multicolored, but mostly purple. So for today, for this project, I think that I want to go with the greens and the purples. And I think these are going to go well with this color of candlestick, but also just with the decor of my house. I don't really have a lot of pinks going on and the whites are really pretty, but obviously you're not going to see them very much on a lighter colored candlestick. So I'll save these for another DIY in the future because I love making DIYs with pressed flowers. So this is, will get used, no big deal. And then I also wanted to use some of the faux gold leaf. Um, if you have been around at my channel, then you probably have seen this video. If you're new to my channel, then you can look back or I'll tag it in this video um, so that you can watch it if you would like to. We made some pressed flower ceramic trays with air dry clay and pressed flowers and then we put some faux gold leaf on the edges. So I have a lot left over from that project. It looks like this, also from Amazon, like everything. Um, I'll link that for you guys too if you want. This is an optional thing, I just think it'll be pretty on the candlesticks. But this comes with a hundred sheets of faux gold leaf. And I used, I think, two for the ceramic project that we did, which was two trays, so it goes pretty far. I do plan on using the faux gold leaf for some projects in the future that I know I'm gonna be doing, um, but there's more than enough for me to do other things with it. It's gonna last a really, really long time. So I thought, why not throw some onto our candlesticks? And in case you've seen her passing through some of my videos, this is my little baby right here. This is Nala. Um, she floats around all throughout my videos. We are together as much as we can be, so she follows me everywhere that she can go. Um, so you'll probably see her popping in and out of a lot of videos or in the backgrounds. This is my little baby. We're gonna go ahead and start by lighting our candles so that we can get the wax going and it can start melting. There we go. What we wanna do is, if you're using a candlestick like this, which is a taper candlestick, then you wanna get it running down the sides because we're gonna use that wax to brush it up to paint onto our candlesticks. If you're using something like a tea light, then it'll obviously just pull it in the bottom. That's probably the preferred way to gather your wax to do this, but I didn't have any tea lights in this color that I'm going for, so we're doing it like this. But if you do have a tea light, I would suggest doing it that way. There we go, so we got both of them open. I'm gonna set them off to the side here. Um, and then we are going to, I can see some of this wax starting to pool right at the top here. So we should be good soon once we get a little drip going to start working with this. But in the meantime, let's kind of plan out what flowers we even want to put on our canisters. So I think for my first candlestick, I'm going to do an all greens one. 
where it's all runs from this and it's just kind of natural colors, really simple. And then I'll branch out to some of these other colors. I think that would be really pretty. So we're gonna carefully go in here and get some of this wax onto our brush. It's starting to drip now. And then lay a base for your flower to go onto. Okay. Once you've done that, you're going to quickly, if you can, transfer over like this. So I was not quick enough, so we are going to try again. one like this where it's just not wanting to lay flat if you kind of press and hold over it for a second it should settle in and if you see that your brush gets kind of coated in wax like this you can take a paper towel or something like that and just kind of brush it back and forth and the wax should just break off as it dries and that'll help you get a cleaner lay on your florals I'm just using my tweezers here to scrape off any excess wax that I have that's kind of built up. Um, that will happen when you're laying them down just because you need a little bit more wax to get them settled. But if you gently just rub over them like this, then that wax will come off and they will still stay on. The lighter of a wax coat that you can do, the easier it's going to be for yourself later on so you don't have to scrape it off like I did. Um, it's a little bit hard to do, but if you can just quickly brush over it like this and get them to lay flat, then that is the best scenario because you won't get that build up like in the center where I'm doing repeated brush strokes over it. So if you see like right in here, it's a little bit more white than on the edges. And so that's that built up wax that we're gonna have to scrape off later. But on the edges where I'm able to quickly brush over, we don't have that. And that's more of the look that we're going for. There we go, so we'll let that settle for a second and then we'll scrape that wax off. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the gold foil while I'm waiting for that to happen. So, Let's tear a little piece off so that we have it ready. And then my plan, and who knows if this will work or not, but my plan is to just put a little bit of wax here and then stick the foil on and pull it off and see what remains. So just like this, add it. Quick, 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 add it. Mm. There we go. Okay, so that gave me a little bit. That worked. Okay, cool. So that's kind of what I wanted anyways, is like organic patterns and shapes to it. I didn't really want it to be set down like I placed it there. I just wanted it to land and do its thing. So that actually worked out better than I thought it would. Let's try again. Okay, so I think the trick is to put a little bit of the wax on put your gold leaf foil on, press it on here, and let it set for a second, and then take it off. So this one did give me a little bit bigger of a chunk here, so I'm gonna try and tear it up a little because I don't want that big of a chunk. But if you just kind of go at it with your finger or something, you can get a little bit more torn up and that is more of the look that I would like. And that's kind of the thing with DIY, you know? It's, oh, excuse me. You good? Sorry about that. Um, it's a little bit of like trial and error, right? So I've not made these before. This is my first time with you guys. So we're just giving it a go. We're seeing what sticks literally and figuratively, and we're, you know, just making it work. 
So we will set that one aside and we'll go on to our next one. candlesticks left. Um, I blew my candle out for a minute just so that you know I don't waste too much of the wax. It's about halfway done but it was a short candlestick. Okay so I have two more. I'm thinking maybe for the next one we have a couple of options. We could either do the same thing again, do another green and another purple with different flowers being used this time. Um, we could just do some gold foil on one or we could do a mix of greens and purples, um, or another option would be to kind of have them starting just at the base, not all over the whole candlestick like the other two have been. That way it's kind of like they're growing from the base of the candlestick. And that could be a cool one. I think that could be kind of fun to do. Maybe do one where they're starting from the base and then do one where they're focused at the top. So for the second set of candles, I'm going to try a different technique for applying flowers. Um, the first two candles we used the candle wax and we dipped our brush into them and kind of painted it on, which worked. Um, it did leave a little bit of a thicker coating sometimes that you had to scrape off. So that wasn't 100% convenient, but it did work and they are holding on to the candlesticks totally fine. Um, this time around, I'm going to try using my trusty Mod Podge. I love this stuff. I use it in a lot of DIYs. It's basically just a glue that is water-based and dries clear. Um, this one that I have is a matte finish, so it's not going to be shiny. So what I'm thinking is that we could just kind of pat this over the top of the, can the flowers and that that will adhere to the candlestick and they'll dry clear so you won't see it on the candlestick. Obviously, glue is gonna be a little bit more flammable than using candle wax itself, but dried flowers are flammable. So, when you're making these, they're kind of more for decoration and for the vibe than for actually burning. Um, if you are gonna burn these, I would suggest that you put them on the bottom like I'm doing now. And when you burn them, just keep an eye on them. Do not let the flame get close to the dried flowers because you don't want those to catch fire. So, I'm testing it out on this one right here because it's a little bit of a more raised one from the flowers that I chose for this candle. So I think this will be a good test to see if it's going to work or not. And then we'll know which one's easier so that when you guys do this, you can just pick the easier route and you don't have to go through doing something that's not as convenient. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the other flowers that we have for this one. We'll set it off to the side and let it dry. And then I'll let you know how the Mod Podge worked versus the candle wax. is drying that it's kind of lifting like this one here you can see it's lifting up a little bit um, let it dry a little bit and then put a second coat on top because since this is a curved surface it might lift on one side or another a little bit more um, and then you can let the base of your flower dry down and then tap it down on the parts that are lifting and they should stick down as well once it's solid in the middle part. Alright guys, so all four of the candles are done. Um, the ones that have the Mod Podge on them are drying now, but what I can tell you, okay, they're not totally done drying, but I did do a test one on this candlestick right here that is pretty much 
almost completely dry. Um, and what I can tell you from the two different methods that I used, they both work, okay? So if you do not have Mod Podge, if you do not want to buy Mod Podge and you just want to use what you have, the candle wax method will absolutely work. It gives you the effect that you're going for, you're just going to have to work a little bit harder at it, okay? But if you do have Mod Podge, or if you're willing to buy it, which I think it's about like $7, so it's not crazy expensive and it does last a really long time. Like you can use it for many, many projects. I mean, I've had this container right here for quite a while now and I've probably used it on, I mean, I would say at least six projects and there's still about a quarter left in this. So it really does last a long time. So I would say that it's worth it if you do a lot of crafts. If you have it or you're willing to get it, I would say to go the Mod Podge route, especially if you plan on having this be just a decorative piece. You're not gonna light them or you're gonna watch them really closely. Um, it's, it's definitely easier. So with the Mod Podge, it took less time. It took less work. I could just dip the brush into the glue and then brush it onto the flowers. And I feel like the flowers lay flatter onto the candlestick. And I also think it's just a generally cleaner look. So for example, now remember this one is not dry yet. It was just a sample flower. But when I did my first candlestick with just the candle wax, you can see here that it left a lot of residue. Okay, and I'll show it a little bit closer up as well so that you guys can see, but it left a thicker layer and some residue, so it made the pressed flowers look a little bit more like foggy on the candlestick, and it's not a bad look. I would say that this is a little bit more of like a vintage look to it. They look a little bit older because of that, but if you're looking for a really clean, like you just went to the store and bought this kind of look, the Mod Podge does that. So it dries completely clear. This one down here is the one that I did on this candlestick with Mod Podge. You can see that some of it is still not dry yet, but for the bits that are, like this leaf in particular, right? Pretty much this whole side right here has dried and it's much more seamless, right? So it's laying completely flat it dried totally clear. It blends in with the candlestick a lot better. It has the same amount of sheen as the candlestick does. So it really just looks like they were made this way. So it is a matter of preference what you're looking for. Obviously you can try both yourself or you can pick the one that you think would be better for you or that you have access to and you can totally make this work and get that same look, right? But whatever way you plan to do it, let me know what you think works better. All right guys, so we have all of our candlesticks done and now it's time to decorate with them. So I already put one of them into a little container. This is one that I did not dye in the vintage glass um, DIY that I did last week. I have a different plan for this for the future. So in the meantime, we're gonna leave it as is and have it be our candle holder. Um, and then we're gonna add a little bit to it in the future. And then I have Three more over here that I'm gonna put in traditional taper candle holders. Um, I have a spot in our front room that I think would be really pretty for these. So we're gonna head on over there and we're gonna check it out.
video. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, relaxing Sunday DIYing with me. I really appreciate you joining in and I hope that your candlesticks turned out beautifully. If you end up giving this a try, let me know how it turned out. Um, I would love to hear about it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see more of this. I put out new videos every week on Sunday. And next week we're going to be doing a new video that is going to be a really beautiful wind chime. So, I hope that I see you guys next week and thanks for watching.